there are a lot of myths about scleroderma and skin care and a lot of autoimmune diseases in general. Once you're diagnosed with scleroderma, people hit the internet and they read things and they see incurable. But it's important not to panic because the symptoms of the disease vary from person to person and the symptoms can be very manageable. And a lot of things can be done to prevent problems so that if you're forewarned, you're forearmed. There's so much that you can do ahead of time so that you're in control of the disease and the disease is not in control of you. There are some very easy steps that you can follow to care for your skin when you have scleroderma. First is you cleanse it. You want to use something very easy on the skin that's pH balanced. What we want to achieve is to keep a slightly acidic balance to your skin. That really helps deter an overgrowth of bacteria or fungus or a viral infection. If you use regular soaps, that strips away those natural oils and that natural environment and makes you more prone to breakdown. When you have scleroderma, you may have a lot of spots or localized spots where the skin is very dry and hard and inflexible. And so by using products that are going to help you moisturize, help protect, and not strip the skin and not dry the skin are really important to keeping the skin intact. By using a substance like the No Rinse Foaming Cleanser that's pH balanced, it'll keep those essential oils, keep the nice balance to your skin, but still leave you feeling fresh and clean. The second step is to protect and you want to help keep the skin intact. So by using Fragile Skin Protective Ointment, that is going to lock in moisture, help take care of some of that dryness, and prevent cracking and drying and itching.